All right, so I, I did take notes, and so bear with me, but I think all this is gonna hit home with everybody. So question one, I've started a few things. What is the Greenville Hustle? It's outreach, okay, in many different forms. Not only is it outreach, it's a platform of inspiration. Not only self-inspiration, but an opportunity to inspire others. Even how Tyler is inspiring other people, eventually we can be the Tylers and bring other people in and grow it and make it yeah. more attainable and more achievable. Yeah. Yeah. Taking things off screen, which screen's great, don't get me wrong, but taking it off and actually becoming face to face. Sitting down with somebody and saying, hey, I want you to genuinely tell me what you accomplished today. Okay, I want you to tell me what hindered you. Okay, how did you overcome it? Or what can we do as a team to help you overcome what you're dealing with, okay? So that tomorrow is even better than today. It's why I always, how are you, where are you from, what do you do, good to see you, and then you go off and no real mentality is there to where if we can all come together, Greenville's already on the map, but it'll be that new way that uh, we should have started then. There's people going north, south, east, and west, but just remember, look at the thing, when the wind blows, we all spin at the same time. So you're going north, you're going south, you're going east and you're west, but we're still connected on the same thing when that wind blows. Like-minded people that keep you on the right track. And just understanding the true meaning of open-mindedness versus, again, being so, you know, content in self, learning from others, man, in all capacities. Like, that's what it's about. It's nice to know that there's a lot of everything, and I think that's what we experienced in our little circle was people from all walks of life, all parts of the country, all fabrics, all struggles, and, and and all ages too. We had a 15 year old speak and he did an awesome job and was confident. So I think that that's what Greenville Hustle is, is a 15 year old that knows how to do some videography and some cool things in social media that I sure probably don't know how to do. And you know, to a guy that's got an idea that he just doesn't know where to voice it. And he's been telling people for years, this is, this is how something could be and it could be cool. And there's a lot of people in this room that could hear him and go, man, I hear you. Let me show you or introduce you to somebody that can make that happen. Transparent collaboration. What do you want to do to grow? Tell me. Tell me what you want to do. Tell them, tell us, and we'll grow together. So being transparent about what we're collaborating on. Grow Greenville from the inside out. If it starts with us, how can you help that? So Greenville Hustle will help me. How can it help you to help Greenville become? Bracing of change. <laughs> You know, I think you had mentioned discomfort and that discomfort's great, but you have to embrace the discomfort. There's so much, but I guess the best way to say it is um, to positively affect one person. And there, I think the rest will take care of itself. Overcoming fear is part of the embrace. And I guess it's cool to, to be in the forefront and I guess like in the ground layer of this like growing and the structure of it and kind of seeing this. So if it does, you know, turn into something massive, we are, you know, the pioneers of it in the city. Now, I think it's like building muscle. I know a lot of you guys work out. I don't, I work on my dad bot, okay? If I master it now, <laughs> it'll, it'll come in handy later, okay? But if you look at growth like a muscle, Okay, when you work out, you break the muscle down and what happens when it grows? It grows back stronger. So when you're broken down, let Greenville Hustle help you grow back stronger. It's cliche when it's sound. Yeah. Mm -hmm. When it's action, it's not cliche anymore. And that's, you know, that's the thing. So we can talk about it all day long, but when we actually take the action and do the thing, whatever it is, you know, then at that point, it it's not cliche anymore, it can't be. So view your growth with Greenville Hustle as if you're building biceps. Okay, that's how I view it. That's how my group viewed it. And the last thing is ultimately living a life of purpose. Is what you're doing purposeful? If it is, great. Okay, if it's not, if you're looking for purpose, that's fine, let us help you find it. If you found your purpose, but you wanna help develop it, let Greenville Hustle help you develop your purpose. I'm not gonna lie guys, I'm excited. This is, uh, this is definitely something I think we can all use to help each other and really grow. So, um, Greenville Hustle, could we say it, it's growth and development? And what we hope to get out of it is, is maybe a community in which we can reach our full potentials and uh, do good in the world. Do you like that? Yeah. I mean, feel free to edit me. <laughs> Hi guys, so here's what I heard, here's what I heard. I heard a place to go, uh, a place to grow with real people, entrepreneurial environment, diversity, growth, community, depth, outreach, platform of inspiration, opportunity to seek discomfort, take it to the next level, accountability, authenticity, passion, purpose, Become bigger while doing good, help committing, elevation, 
start, uh, startup development, empowering females, local accountability. There's a million different things that we heard, but that's the coolest thing that we've experienced in having conversations about this. It's like, we've heard those and more because it really is whatever you wanna make it. What I mean by whatever you wanna make it, I mean, when we say that we're facilitating this, we're facilitating this because I made a decision a long time that I never wanted to be the smartest person in the room and I never wanted to be the most successful person in the room, ever. And so that's what I wanted to do was create an environment where we could bring people in that were way smarter than me, way more successful than me, but that also had all these different things that they were looking for because there's things that we will all share. There's probably things when you guys shared uh, what you were looking for and what you were gonna get from this that someone was like, yeah, I want that too. Yeah, I want that too. Yeah, I want that too. Like empowering females, like obviously as Brian and I have been talking about that, that wasn't like our main deal, but I'm like, that's exactly what we want to do. We want to empower everybody. So that's been the most unique thing about really starting this thing and the conversations that have come from it, because it can be just that. It can be whatever you want from it. And that has to do with what you bring to it.